Welcome to another video. Me and my dad are going hunting. I mean, it is on a Wednesday. I may have school, but I don't care. I gotta shoot me a buck. I'm hunting a river. I had seven does behind the house last night, so it's getting a lot of pressure. So we're hunting around the, uh, or the perimeter of the property that these guys own by the back behind our house. And we hunt right beside that, so they're gonna push everything to the perimeter of it. Hopefully I get a buck down on the ground. Well, I'm hunting a river. I'll be on the other side. They usually come on the, from the other side, but they're on a sandbar. We've shot many bucks on the sandbar. Well, I need, we haven't unloaded it yet because we just got back and didn't fool around.
guys, I just smoked. I think I just smoked one. I really do. I hope I did. So what happened was, I'm sitting right here, and uh, on this side, I hear something to my right, and I thought it was a squirrel over there. And sure enough, I looked over there, right over there, and uh, I seen this doe. She took off up the hill, and I knew there was a buck behind her. So I stood up right here on this side, and there's this buck staring at me. And he, he, was, a, he was an eight point, I think, but he was pretty nice. I hope he's nice. He's pro I don't know how big, but he's pretty nice. And uh, he, he turned broadside, and I took a shot. It might be a little far back. He was only 50 yards away, so my dad's hunting right now. I, thought, I called him on the phone, and he had a doe come in. He said he might have had, a, there might be a buck behind her. So he ended up, he ended the phone. And uh, so hopefully he get the buck that comes in. But we'll probably get the new canoe and cross the river. I hope he's dead. Thank the Lord. Lord, please let him be dead. Whew. Man, I've been hunting so hard. This is probably close to my 40th hunt, to be honest with you. I spent so many hours in the woods, even at this spot. And I've been hunting that tree stand right up there. Well, there's a tree stand somewhere around there, but I've been hunting that so many times, and I've seen deer on here on the sandbar with my gun or with my bow, and I couldn't get a shot. I think I got the job done. I do. I really do. Lord, please let him be dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He'd be my biggest buck to date. I've been hunting so hard for this deer. He's a good, respectable buck. I just talked to my dad. He's seen a buck. Shine right over there. No bucks behind them. Just two does chilling, walking. They'll come down here. Maybe they'll get a buck. It is now 9.08, got about 50 minutes, and I'm gonna go at the end of the lane. Dad's gonna pick me up, then we're gonna go home, layer down, unlayer, and then come back and look for blood. If you find some blood, then we're gonna call the landowner, so I'll get back to you when I'm in the ranger, probably. Okay, turn this bad boy up. Let's put the SD card back in. Wait. Okay. <clears throat> My knees. We're calling the landowner right now. So, we found Bud. But we're going to call the landowner and see if we can go on this property and look for the deer. Ten point. How am I being okay, so we found him. After a long search, finally found him, but here he is. He's not a bad deer. 
He's a 10 point. I don't know if I'll get him out of now. But that's my first good deer, so. Yeah. Now we gotta put the tag on him and put him in the canoe across the river, so. Get back to you when I get to the house.